Ready and your hammer real quick. So this is a tool for uh, making a slightly cruddy round bar into a really nice round bar. Cleans everything up. Okay, light. The, uh, yeah, that really changed it up, didn't it? Yep. And you could do that with a hand hammer, but this is much faster. Right this time. Hit. Wait. Hit. 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 So that's the start of the handle there. Doing a transition like that with that little V-shape makes it a lot stronger, so you don't go straight from thin to thicker. working on the handle. This is going to have a real long handle, maybe yay long. Working with the back side of my hammer like that, I can spread the material wider more than longer. And that's what that's for. Careful here, line everything up. First heat is just about getting the line straight. So how'd you guys get started doing this? Uh, I've always had a passion for making things. I, that was my uh, dream since I was little. I wanted to make things. Uh, I think I always wanted to be an inventor or something. For a time I wanted to be a hat maker. But making things, not dealing with ideas or anything. I wanted to make objects. And uh, my brother, he was interested more in fire and hitting stuff and that kind of thing. So uh, this craft was a perfect combination for both of our passions to uh, good work, and now we're stuck out of it. <laughs> I love it. It's real fun. Now, as we get those ends pulled apart, they're really, really thin, and that's where it'll burn. So I want to kind of, what I'll do is I'll stick it through the fire, kind of, so that they are kind of in a cool spot over there, and then the heat from the main bar will soak through out to them. Go. 
So after you cut, you got a uh, sharp edge there. And this just takes off that sharp edge. If I don't take that off, it'll fold over and become a crack. Get that other side hot and off. somewhere on the anvil where you can get in there just right. It's starting to look like a fork. right now because it's an unfinished fork but the uh, fellow I'm selling it to he's a gunsmith and he's gonna do a whole bunch of whitesmithing work on it and that's filing and making it shiny and decorating it a lot and uh, I want to leave it flat like this so it's easy for him to work on and then he can bend it into shape the way he wants after it's whitesmithed. I have to leave it kind of crude for them so you have something to do. <laughs> 